Today is Thursday, September 7th, 2017, and this is the Service Monster Show. Vegas, baby! In this episode, what's not on social media, Service Monster Mobile 3 gets an update, and we talk about the Service Monster development team. This week, not on social media. So I kind of wanted to get a dig in. We're here at the Experience in Vegas, and you know, it's a decent show. I would say overall attendance is down a little bit, but I would attribute that directly to a lack of social media presence. Associations and the trade shows are doing a horrible job keeping in front of the general market, social media, it was completely absent. I saw zero, not one promotion, not leveraging content at all from last year. There was just no promotion online about it with the exception of a few people who asking if we were gonna attend or if they were gonna attend. So you guys get an F, like improve your social media game. Let's get some more people at these trade shows because you've, you've heard me talk about it and it is definitely a credit to the industry and something that we should try to hold on to. This week in Service Monster. So here we are at the experience, Sam and Justin and Tony and myself are at the booth. We're here for three days. And you know, I love coming here and talking to you guys, getting your firsthand experience using our product, getting your experience on the content that we create. And it's just so good to hear so many positive things. Like I'm very grateful. I have so much gratitude that you guys pay attention and find value out of the stuff that we do. So thank you so much for that. If you're here, obviously by the time this airs, you won't be able to come see us at the booth, but maybe th think about seeing us in another show. We've got ice coming up in January. And of course, April is another extension of the experience as well. So see you there. This week, I wanted to talk a little bit about the development team consists of a handful of people and many departments. Man, these guys do amazing work. I'm so grateful. As an architect, one of the only CEOs that understands technology at its root level, down to the machine level, I make sure we hire great people, but in their passion, not necessarily their ability. And then we coach them, we help them, we train them, we make them ninjas. They're already ninjas, I'm just chipping away at the granite, right? We've got a couple different makeups. The first one is kind of the desktop team, and they work on the back-end processes too. I don't want to get too geeky, but Matt, Randy, Aaron, and David make up the Service Monster 6 team, both the front end and the back end. And then we've got Lee and Kyle on our mobile development team. So all of them. Man, I wouldn't trade any of them. I'm, I'm so thrilled with the staff that we built over the last few years and the engineers know exactly what to do on the framework and the platforms now and I think they have a lot of fun doing it. We try to make that environment uh, pretty kick-ass for them. So that's our engineering team and I try to throw down as much code as I can, although as a CEO, marketing guru, I'm kind of kind of busy. So I don't get as many hours during the week as I'd like but the team is doing an amazing job pushing that product forward. Service Monster product updates. Service Monster 6.1, there's a handful of things they're working on right now. The favorite one is the job notification pipeline for texting. So you can do a day before email, an hour before text, an hour after the job you can send a text, and a day after the job you can send an email. Of course you can dial those in and make three days or three hours or whatever you want to do. And I talked to some people who won't be sending text directly to their clients. Instead, they'll actually be sending it to their technician as a reminder for them to send a text to the client and let them know where they're at. This works really well for arrival windows, right? So just a couple different ways that you can use this new tech that we're working on. It's very cool stuff. I encourage you to watch for it. We should be releasing that within the next few weeks. Mobile 3 also gets a product update, hopefully released to the iOS and Android store this week. We're extending the site form so it's a little bit more deep. You can get some history, you can get a little bit more editing on that site record, and it's just a little bit more depth to the product. And we're also, you'll see if you're signed up for Send Jim's Radius Bomb, that button on the job screen pop up for a single click to send out to your pre-configured list of neighbors within the job. Thank you so much for paying attention from everyone here at Service Monster. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, go check out the demo, give us a call. <laughs>